<laughs> hey y'all okay so today i am excited we're excited because i'm starting my new food series ah! so y'all i be eating good i be eating good and living better so hopefully this series suits you well it's going to be like endless amounts of restaurants in atlanta that i want to try independently owned franchise black owned okay everything in between all good food all good vibes all good times and nine times out of ten i'm always gonna have somebody with me but these are just restaurants that i've always been wanting to try or that i found on tiktok so today we're gonna have tacos. we're going to get my friend cam now okay i got the vlog here. you see you gotta introduce yourself tell them who you is oh it's kid cam okay period DJ who? You will only address him as DJ who? I don't even DJ no more, bro, but yes, it's I. <laughs> it is I. I. Tacos, here we come. We're here. We think we're here. We, we think we're here. <laughs> okay, so I thought it was the gas station at first, but I mean, hey. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. They knew we was coming. Okay, we're here. Okay, so we were very wrong. Um, I knew it. <laughs> not you knew it and you told me it <laughs> is. Damn, Cam. Oh, I see it like that. They need better That's signage, the bro. Time. Look, see if they open. That gotta be it. Huh? You know, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was like, it literally said the shell. Oh, it's inside of the gas station. You know, gas station food be the best. I'm not even going to hold you. Not going to hold you. Hey, hey. Hello. Okay, we're here at the restaurant. We got two beef, one chicken, and it comes with a sauce on the food. Lord Terry, uh, I'm about to take a bite before Cam gets here, but I'll wait. I'll wait. While our tacos were being made, you can literally walk, literally, walk straight into the Shell gas station from the restaurant. So they had way more variety options for drinks and they were cheaper. So we just went over there, got whichever ones we wanted, and then came and sat at the table. And let me just show you the reaction. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm going get down with this. Let me tell you something. Okay. I'm surprised it's not the lemon oil. I feel like there is one, but I don't know. Mm. You talk, you talk about it. <laughs> Oh, it's spicy. It don't make no motherfucking sense. Okay. You can't write them. Boy, I'm talking about right on top. It's a long line of folks. Mm -hmm. This green sauce is good. I'll be judging that. <laughs> I'll judge that. Ooh, huh? It's not hot at Let me see that one. Because it's not hot at all. That's, that's, that's hot. This one is less hot than that. I'll be like a little. <laughs> we'll be back y'all it's cam taking the plates away from me and left no crumbs <laughs> okay rate it one to ten cam i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten eight out of ten okay they're called ta salsa taqueria if you ever want to come literally if you type it in if you type it in, it's the Shell gas station. <laughs> because we went next door and that wasn't right. So yes, if you're at the Shell, then you're at the right place. I, for authenticity, I would give it a nine. A nine? For authenticity. Why, how? They're, they're, that's not Mexicans in there. Yes, okay? it is, bro. 
They're Indian. They're the, they're no, Indian. because go in there and say hola. And Try and start a conversation in Spanish and see what they say. Bro, all the customers in there were literally not Mexican. No, and then there were some Mexican customers when you were in the bathroom. Don't be racist. Okay. <laughs> because literally, yeah, no. It was good as fuck. It yeah. wasn't nasty. It I wasn't nasty. It, I'll give it 8.2. Yeah. They were $12. And then we went to the gas station. It's literally in the same little thingy thing. Got our drinks. And um, it was actually very fast service. Like yeah, worth 12 I think. Mm-hmm. They're like a, a three dollars, yeah, yeah three dollars each. So it was actually very freaking good. I would recommend it, bitch. <laughs> Listen, if you got a car, you can drive out to Buford. Get you them tacos, B. Now, since this video was so short, um, thank you. I love having guys with me. <laughs> <laughs> What if somebody just hopped in here? He left the door open. What if somebody just hopped in here and said, drive, bitch? He's like, what? 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 I thought a trash can was closed somewhere this here. Cam, ain't no fucking way. Girl, come on. Uh, hey, nah, girl, come on! Let's, let's go. Shh, it's not a career. This, this is how we get back to reparations, bro. Come on. <laughs> you should've got that on camera. Ooh, ND! <laughs> Now we're going to transition over into a restaurant I've been to several times with friends and family. This is True Food Kitchen with a beautiful open concept kitchen, floor, and a beautiful bar. It's a vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free friendly, <laughs> gluten friendly restaurant. So everything is just uh, delicious and so natural. We decided to sit outside, my mom, my brother's girlfriend, Mina, and I, because it was such a beautiful day. But oh my goodness, y'all, like, oh, uh, this is a perfect freaking restaurant. Let me show you what we got, okay? So the three of us were able to share a plate of Brussels sprouts as well as cauliflower and it honestly filled us up. We were able to pretty much finish the plate with a little bit left over before our food came out and everything was so well seasoned and delicious. My mother also got the butternut squash. If you're a soup person, I would suggest you try it. Ooh, child, I was so excited when the food came out. So I got a side of kale salad, which was just, mwah. it had the perfect tang to it, as well as some lasagna bolognese, which was a gluten-free option. That was a better look at my mom's butternut squash. Mina got the spaghetti squash casserole, which is a vegan and gluten-free option, but she added some chicken on top. And my mom got this delicious Buddha bowl with some mushrooms. And oh my goodness, I just cannot emphasize the flavor, you guys. It was amazing, okay? And you guys should definitely try their drinks. My mother and I tried the apple lemonade and then I followed it up by getting a honey lemonade, which is very sweet. Mina got the cranberry limeade, which is a bit tartar taste, but they were all so wonderful. I think you guys should try all of their drinks on the menu. start dancing okay how are you guys my name is brian i'm from true foods kitchen yes I take care of your girl today mm -hmm. you guys come back and visit anytime period Thank and you. only 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 sit with only. him because he was amazing only. period <laughs> And y'all, I mean what I said. Y'all better only sit with Brian. He was 10 out of 10 service, okay? He even gave us this complimentary flowerless brownie, which was a uh, chef's kiss. All in all, I would give it a 10 out of 10. But thank you guys for tapping in with me every week as you always do. And make sure you comment some restaurants you want me to try, loves and lovers. I'll see you next week. Mwah.